All right, what I'm going to do is uh, show you a quick video, hopefully as quick as possible, of my uh, new, new Sony um, action cam I received in the mail today. Um, in some other videos, what I'm going to do is some video test of it, so make sure you check them out if you're interested in the video quality of this thing. Um, we're going to start this out with showing you the bottom door, which snaps open. Um, it's a little bit flimsy, but I think it'll hold. And there's some ports here, your um, micro USB, a HDMI, and then a mystery port. Um, that micro USB, it's worth noting that any, say, phone charger will, uh, micro USB phone charger will work long as it's five volts um, I charge this with my actual Galaxy S3 phone charger um, moving on the back door you have your start and stop which is also an enter button but uh, there's a hold switch that say if you hit record you put hold on it will not record anymore which is pretty neat and as far as the side panel you got these two buttons here if you hold next on um, unit will power up oops sorry and um, you have different screens to go through I'm on 1080 at 30p and as far as uh, you do is uh, next you get your interval timer for five seconds on them to like 60 and you use your enter, enter key to uh, um, determine what you want to do you have your setup and of course you go through things there but then play and power off play would be for HDMI power off if you want to shut it off that that's so far that's the only way I found to shut it off is you get to power off and then hit enter and it powers down but let's go to uh, setup you hit enter you got video you'll hit enter again and this is where you can scroll through 1080 at 30p, 720 at 30p. Both of them have sound. Now I know there's been questions and I question it, but at 720 at 60p, there was no sound when I tried it out. And then 720 at um, 120p, 120 frames per second is slow motion. And it actually records in slow. You don't have to have a program to alter that. And then 480 at 30p. And we'll hit back, but you have your video, uh, steady shot, you hit that, it's on, leave that on. Um, let's get back to setup, video, steady shot, your angle, I run at 120 degrees on all the videos I will do, but you do have the option of 170, which is quite a bit wider. Um, hit back. And then you have time lapse. Um, I suppose we could go there. Five second intervals, 10, 30, and 60. And then uh, auto off. And then you can set your date and other stuff like that. But you kind of get the idea. Um, as far as uh, uh, The unit itself, it is very rugged and uh, it is small. And it's the back door to open it up, basically slide it, do that. The battery compartment's kind of hard to access, pull it out, which you shouldn't do it, have to do it a lot. But um, it does have another battery holder, which for a life of me I don't know why they wouldn't use this that basically takes a bigger battery I'll have to look into that more but the SD card um, when you do put it in make sure you know your I guess your writings up and the brass tabs are down and it's kind of hard to get in but not terrible but I did put it in upside down and it actually snapped in it's the first time I've ever had any kind of a piece of electronic cameras or anything that was able to do that and it had a basically a memory read error but SD card slides in and you're good to go let's quick move on to the uh, housings 
I've already tried out the waterproof housing, which you'll see in a video. It wasn't too bad, but uh, it uh, kind of self-explanatory how it all locks in and stuff like that. One good thing about that housing has that quarter twenty thread on the bottom, where you can take say any kind of uh, like this dash mount, and it will thread right on and um, same as any tripod mount screwed it all the way on nice and tight works good um, what it does come with is you got one curved adhesive mount one flat one and of course this goes in there and screws into the um, waterproof housing for a mount uh, USB cable which any phone charger micro will work and one thing I did did I do want to note that surprised me I didn't look into it a lot at the time but you have no way to mount this thing without that waterproof housing and the sound quality is muffled on it so I don't know if there's another mount out there just to mount this straight but I do have one mount that I purchased separately a uh, headband and I've tried that out and I'm very impressed with it very handy I'll be doing a lot of bow hunting so I want to have a nice clear sound and I'm not going to get it wet so now in order to flip this on the other side of your head which is what I'm going to want to do shooting right handed um, I'm going to have to put this in this way which you lose access to them buttons but as long as it's on you hit record and you're good to go but uh, that was kind of a weird setup that I think somebody didn't think about. But um, it's about it. I'm not going to bore you with the um, opening the box and all that stuff. But you're going to basically get what you see here in it. And like I said, if you're interested in the video quality, check out the other videos. Or if I got room, maybe I'll put some on here. Um, that's about all. I don't think there's much else. I'm sure someone would be interested in the video quality.